This is the most expensive Wi-Fi 6E router in the market. It is a quad-band Wi-Fi 6E router from ASUS and it is called Rogue Rapture GT AXC 16000 with a price tag of $700. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Let's do a quick unboxing. The Wi-Fi 6E router comes with quick start guides, power adapter, and an internet cable. Now let's look at the specs. The Wi-Fi 6E router is powered by a quad-core CPU running at 2GHz, 2GB RAM, quad-band Wi-Fi 6E, beam forming, OFDMA, MU-MMO, WPA3, and can connect up to 200 devices or more. In the port options, we have one 2.5GB WAN port, two 10GB WAN and LAN ports, four 1GB LAN ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, and one USB 2 port. And we also have a WPS button, LED button, reset button, and power switch. Now let's look at the design and features. The Rogue GT AXC 16000 has good solid overall construction and can cover up to 3000 square feet and can also provide up to 16 gigabits per second of wireless bandwidth. And following the breakdown, the 6G and 2 5G bands can support speed up to 4800 megabits per second and 2.4G band can support speed up to 1148 megabits per second. And there are 8 external antennas and 4 internal antennas. And you can use multiple routers and can be used as a mesh system. By default, one of the two 5G bands is used as a backhaul connection to the central router, so your devices will still have full tri-band access to 2.4G, 5G, and 6G band. But if you choose, you can always use 6G band as a backhaul. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So you place the Wi-Fi 6E router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we're using Intel AX210 Wi-Fi 6E card installed in our client laptop and we're also using Ethernet wired computer as an iPod 3 server. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. We tested connection extreme corners in each floor of the house. We used only 5G and 6G connections and ran tests three times at each location to get the best possible results. So let's review the results. First location, which is within the five feet of the router in the basement, we achieved close to 1.1 gigabits per second wireless speed for both 5G and 6G, which is the highest we ever achieved excellent start. But for the second test, when we moved all the way to the left corner of the basement, we achieved 600 megabits per second for 5G1 and 500 megabits per second for 5G2 and for 6G, we achieved 300 megabits per second. So as expected, 6G has even less range compared to 5G. Moving on to the main floor, to the right side of the house, we achieved 235 megabits per second for 5G1 and 321 megabits per second for 5G2 and 62 megabits per second for 6G. Moving on to the left side, we achieved 24 megabits per second for 5G1, 66 megabits per second for 5G2, and sadly, we could not find 6G signals here, so we are out of range for 6G signals. On the first floor, right side, we achieved 147 megabits per second for 6G, and 407 megabits per second for 5G2, and 437 megabits per second for 5G1. And to the left, we achieved 35 megabits per second for 5G1 and 100 megabits per second for 5G2. And again, we could not find 6G signals here as well. And in the garage, we achieved only 5 megabits per second for both 5Gs. And again, no 6G signals here, which is acceptable considering Wi-Fi signals has to go to multiple walls and great distance. Throughout the review, we found some throttling problem with the Wi-Fi signals and we don't know either it's a firmware issue or hardware issue. And as you can see, even the Wi-Fi signal shows great connection speeds, but when we initiate iPerf 3 test speed, we see Wi-Fi connection signal strength suddenly drops, and so does the connection speed. And after the test finish, it restores connection strength and signal speed. I hope ASUS will be able to fix it in the next firmware. In the next test, we're using 10GB NAS connected to 10GB network board of the Wi-Fi 6E router and using Wi-Fi 6E card-based laptop connected to 6G at 2.4G speeds we ran a file transfer speed test using 5G file. And as you can see, the 10G network speed is a big upgrade and we are able to saturate the 2.4 gigabits per second wireless speeds. And these results are using a conventional 5900 RPM NAS drives. But if you have a SSD or NVMe based cache NAS devices, you will be able to benefit even more with the multiple 10 gig network cards available in the Rogue Rapture GT AXC 16000. And also if you have a 10G network based clients, you will be able to take full advantage of the 10 GB speeds as well. So you can connect both your 10GB NAS and 10GB wired clients at the same time. In the final test, we used USB 3 flash drive shared as a file server on the Wi-Fi 6E router. And the GT AXC 16000 performance was average, scoring 45 megabits per second write score. Now let's talk about the setting up the Wi-Fi 6E router. Setup was a very easy three-step process. 
all you have to do is a download ASUS app to Android or iOS device, connect your router to your modem, or if you have Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to the Ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions and app to complete the setup. There are a ton of settings available to configure. You can also use the ASUS web-based configuration to manage the router's insane configuration options. It is definitely gamers and professionals dream come true. And it also allows parents to use extensive parental controls to keep an eye on their kids and block malware websites with built-in securities. You can also modify each wireless band setting separately as well keep separate SSIDs for each band to multiple channel selections and tons of security settings to keep your Wi-Fi secure. Let's do the final summary. The ASUS ROGUE Rapture GTAXC 16000 Wi-Fi 6E router performs good in this review. The Wi-Fi 6E router's performance was excellent in closed range but struggles in the long range. And also we witnessed strange Wi-Fi speed throttling at long range which does not make any sense. Overall, the Wi-Fi 6E router produced good Wi-Fi coverage and can cover up to 3000 square feet. It offers tons of configuration and advanced settings, but the 700 price tag for Wi-Fi 6E router is hard to justify for its performance and Wi-Fi coverage, and it's definitely out of reach for many. Let me know what you guys think of the review in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and sub to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.